Hold on. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Go ahead, Bob. Are Here you me. ready? Yes, I'm ready. I don't even know how to love Bob, this is the part yeah. where you say, welcome to Finding Subjects, Bob. Welcome yeah. to Finding Subjects. I'm Bob. I'm Big. And I'm Tony. All right. Now, hey. Now, hey. now is, is official. See, you know what we just did, right? We now just, we're cooking. We just brushed off uh, three months of cobwebs is what we did. How long has it been? I don't <laughs> even know how long it's been. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Put it this way. Uh, I got uh, new stuff for Christmas, uh, a case for this, uh, this board and uh, a couple other cases to keep my stuff organized. And I, had a, I put it in Christmas Day. <laughs> it hasn't been out. So <laughs> everything else I've been well, doing on the laptop. Mm, and then I had to I find the – go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. I think it was just before Christmas, right? That was it had to time. be. Yeah, it had to be. Yeah. Um, but yo, man, it's so nice to so nice to be back with you guys. Seriously, I needed it. I I just yes. I'm so tired yeah. of talking to myself. You know. <laughs> you know. What hey, I'm saying? Like, talking like to myself and feeling blue. Remember Karen oh, Carpenter? <laughs> See, yeah. that's an Listen, old Karen Carpenter. Right? I just want to tell you something, Karen. It's so nice to have you back, buddy. You know, you sound <laughs> you sound good, man. You sound energetic. Yeah, Bob does sound good. Yeah. yeah. How, how are you feeling, Bob? May, may we ask? You know, the folks out there have known. I've been talking to them for a long time about you not really feeling too well, and they so many people out there uh, from all around the world. Uh, even Vivek in India was very concerned yeah. about you. People in Spain, people in uh, Frankfurt, Germany, people in Heiligenhafen, Germany, uh, people all over the place are concerned about Bob. How you doing, buddy? Well. I feel a little better today. Okay. Uh, my YouTube's been working all week. Happy about that. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of my voice back. Mm -hmm. I personally think that you you really, and Bink, Bink will uh, agree with this, I'm sure, you really epitomize the hitman persona right now, right, with that voice, Bobby? Sure. Listen, Bob, give us, like, if you were in The Godfather, right, give us, like, a, a, you know, something that you would say in, like, kind of, like, to have uh, – the big guy go hit somebody. No. Take the gun, leave the cannoli. Leave go. the gun, take the cannoli. <laughs> Personally, it all depends. It all depends where you're getting your cannolis from. <laughs> you might want to take the gun and leave the cannoli. Yeah. I've had some yeah. bad I've had some bad cannoli. I don't know about how but you guys uh I've, I've had some... only had one cannoli my whole life. I don't see the big deal. Are you yeah, yeah. okay. Well maybe you didn't I'm have the, the the proper one. Uh I would try no, to suppose hey, supposedly my wife's family, these are from uh, okay. very, okay. very good uh, I know where. sources. Yep, I know where you're talking and about. And yeah. I ate it, and it was good, but I didn't see, you know, I wasn't going all eight to it. Like, you know? Yeah, there's places that, you know, some of the places that you would think, oh, that's pl that place is known for the best cannoli. Um, I've had them, mm -hmm. and, and like the shell tasted stale, you know, and, and or the filling. Mm -hmm. And personally, I like, the, I like the cream cheese filling with the... Uh, or the regatta, what do you call it? Is it a regatta? Bobby, you know how what's what's in that stuff? I think it's regatta. Regatta, yeah. regatta. Yeah. But I like that with the chocolate chips. You ever have that? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the kind I had. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. But that that could be a hit or a miss, man, honestly. So, uh, no, yeah, so yeah, you're yeah, saying I, it's not a Duncan French crawler? It's not a Duncan French crawler. How do you even say that crawler. last word? Crawler, crawler. Curler or what? Crawler, I think. Yeah, that's a difficult like word. You're curl, like you're crawling. Crawler, like no, can, I think and it's, it's crawler. Crawler, like why? Why call crawler. it that? Why? Why is? Why, why can't you just just say it's a, it's a French donut? Because <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a French donut. A French. Because I think the French crawler has, like the Duncan one we had with the pa pastry, but then there's another one they call a crawler. It's just plain. Hmm. So what it's happened? So I, guess that, I guess that would be a crawler. So and then the French would be a crawler. <laughs> Who knows? And so you Bob, can buy him at and you can buy him at Kroger. Uh, so listen, yeah, Bob. Bob crawler, called us uh, crawler, crawler. a couple of weeks ago. He wasn't he wasn't feeling too good. We were going to go over and talk to him, and then he's like, ah, you know, I'm not really into it. I'm, I'm a little tired right now. And then all of a sudden, he calls me back. He says, by any chance, do they got any French curler donuts over there? <laughs> 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 so me and Bink took a run to Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, went to go yeah. see Bink's buddy over there in Springfield. Me, oh, my buddy Yogi. Yogi, right? Yeah. They're a great guy. And then we ran over with Good Bob guy, and uh, 
And then we brought Rob some French cruller or crawler donuts and <laughs> hooked him up. But that was good to see you, you know, having some of those. It was always great to see you through this whole thing. Yeah, they disappeared, disappeared oh, quick. We make they? them disappear. Like, I, I think, I don't know if I would do it to myself nowadays, but back in the day, like, you ever have any food challenges with you and your boys? You know, like, I, I can eat this or, you know. You guys yeah, I, uh, I always, I would never partake because I was not the big eater, but mm -hmm. I had some buddies who were. Hmm. Bob, how about you? No. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, I, I never really did, but there was, you know, I had incidents where I kind of went on a binge, like the, the infamous turkey sandwich day on Thanksgiving, the time I almost killed myself with uh, eating too much turkey. And then. Uh, That's because you had to go to three turkey dinners. I know. I did. And, and Bob, <laughs> so Bob would run the turkey dinner, the one that you, you know, you threw every year. Which uh, is so cool, by the way. And, and I think Bob, ever, that's ever going to come back. You know where people are coming and sitting down no. and doing all that. Now, no, we're too, we can't. We don't. We're too old. We don't got the energy to do all that anymore. Yeah, that was a heck of an event. But uh, so anybody who's dating somebody, you kind of know. Uh, well, we had this little event that my kids grew up on, and, and I would bring them there at the church, and then you go home. And you you ate uh, well be prior to the kids. You, you go and you help Bob at his uh, Thanksgiving dinner, and then you go to your mom's or your dad's, right? Your mom and dad's have dinner there, and then you go over to your girlfriend's and you have dinner there. You know, so there's your three turkey dinners, and it's the same thing. Well, uh, Easter is just double dinners. You know, it wasn't the triple dinners, but uh, you know, everybody wants to see you, and you don't want to just isolate one. Now, I think I see a lot of people doing it. You just pick one over the other but nowadays you, you kind of bounce and maybe even host a bit you guys ever had that problem back yeah. in the day i never had a problem with eating too much ever i, I was always <laughs> that guy that, as soon as as soon as my plate i, I would not put overwhelming amount of food on my plate and when i was done i push it away and uh i might have a little bit of some kind of uh mm. you know cake or what have you like uh you know and then that's it i never had a problem never was a big appetite guy mm. i th i, th I see that as a problem <laughs> yeah now my no. brother no. You know, say my brother was skinnier than i ever was and he could he could eat three or four plates full we were like jesus yeah where's this guy putting it yeah. all that's my uh, son in law. And even right today now. he can still eat he still eats it takes a bigger plate than i do yeah he doesn't do like like he used to but yeah yeah, I would. The most I would, the most I would ever eat is if I was sitting around and we were sitting around smoking, you know, and uh, and uh, smoking some pot, and then next thing you know, whoa, call the pizza place, man. We'd have grinders and hoagies. Oh, yeah, and pizza. Well, for that you get yeah. the munchies. Yeah, right? yeah, the munchies. That's the, but that's the most I could eat. Yeah, yeah, the munchies we call it. Back in the day, yeah, when, when I'd, I'd smoke some uh, some Mary Jane, <laughs> I would, uh, it's the only time in my life that I would eat red hot potato chips. <laughs> like we would drive, Bob, you remember when the A plus used to be on McCabe Boulevard and uh, yeah, and and Wycombe Avenue in Darby, right? Uh, back in the eighties, we we go down there and we get a, a big gulp, right? Called a big gulp, and a thirsty two ounce, or I'd get a bag of red hots. And a big gulp, and I would just cram it, like like they were like someone was going to take them away from me. I was just eating them, <laughs> yeah, you know, red hot. I've never even had one, like red hot. Oh, I never had those. And I can't really take hot food, so for me to eat a bag of red hot potato chips, man, that was a lot. Huh. I got but in all honesty, the biggest the biggest thing I ever ate was a chicken. <laughs> 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 but that you know you were talk, oh, you were boy. talking about the Mary Jane Rick Rick James had a hit record I'm in love with Mary Jane oh did he and everybody thought it was about a woman but it was about the week oh my god yeah Rick well, James. Mary Jane back in the day didn't they yeah Mary Jane Mary left Jane -handed cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> left hand cigarettes left handed cigarettes yep I never yeah. I never heard that one either. So, uh, I mean, I've it. heard, uh, you know, Chronic, 420, uh, what else? I think you would know better than I. 
See, back in the day, I never heard that. When I was a pothead, I I never heard any of these 420 things. Mm. No. Well, I guess that's the newer, yeah. you know, the newer. Uh, that's the newer. And they're right. like, oh, it's 420. I'm like, what's 420? Excuse me. Yeah, that's, a, me. that's that route. road when you leave my it's Lincoln Avenue. When you leave my house. It is. Yeah. It's, it's Lincoln Avenue from uh you get off at 420 on uh yeah, right. I ninety five and you head north and you can hit all kinds of really good Speaking pizza of places. 420, and... That's uh that's Saturday. Oh, it, oh yeah. there you go. Okay. Yeah, all right. Saturday. So uh it, it shall smell like skunk weed outside. Big time. Uh, the weed the, the weed I smell today stinks to high heaven. Honestly, yeah, dude. It doesn't I it was, didn't stink that bad back in the day when it was the real stuff. I was taking a walk the other day. I was talking to Bob. Was it yesterday, Bob? And I said, oh, man. I said, you know, someone's getting high, you know? Uh, and I, I can smell it prolifically, right? Here, I, I do believe it was actually a skunk. You know, I don't think because there was nobody yeah. around. Nobody was around in that area, and it had to be a skunk. So yeah, I, yeah, I mean, you'll know the difference. I don't know the difference. That's the thing. I think. No, I'm saying if you get too close to like somebody just ran over a skunk. Oh my god! To me, they, awful, it yeah. sounds. It smells the same. <laughs> nah, I'm not, not used to smell. Like yeah. The skunk is really there. Yeah. And it lasts for days and weeks. Mm. You guys ever get I hit ran by a skunk? One. Oh yeah. I never got sprayed by one, but I somebody must have just hit it. Mm. Uh, on three twenty two on a Conchester. Right. Uh, right by the McDonald's there and the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was heading into the city from my office, and uh, I was like, man, I smell skunk. And then it got really bad, and then I felt, and I'm uh, like, oh, no. And uh, it got real. it must have got on my truck. On your, under, on your undercarriage. When, yeah, when I got to the city, I could still smell it. I was like, whoo, <laughs> man, it was bad. Oh, man. Let's you know you're alive. I guess. Hey. You know? Hey, speaking of wild animals, they caught a coyote in Marple today. Ah, see, so I uh, told my wife that well, I said when you have when you have my granddaughters outside, keep them close because a coyote is an opportunist. They're going to yeah. run right up and try to snag a child. Mm. They can do that right. with a two-year-old, sure. Yeah. So what did they do with it? Um, I'm not sure, but I know my daughters in Wallingford. The coyotes were were roaming the yards back here. There was a coyote. Yeah, stay by the water a little bit. They're know, they're everywhere. Woods. They're indigenous to the area, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Out on my sister's farm, there's so many that just kind of wander through. I think Bink, I think I saw, uh, showed you the picture of them. You know, going through a healthy lot, yeah, and, and, and they walk right past the uh, the animal, the farm animals, and everything. I mean. I, so and I think I'm wrong, but your sister's not that. That sister's not named Maggie, right? No, Maggie's farm. Maggie's farm. No, no. Okay. no. It's uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Alec. Oh, never mind. I'm going to ruin the joke. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You know, here, I've I'm, I, I've detected what's up again. I know what happens here when I get in front of this microphone and this board. I'm multitasking, mm -hmm. right? And so that's why my speech in my brain sometimes doesn't match. So that's my problem, folks. I'm, I'm I'm multitasking here, and I'm look, watching all these colors and go up and down and making sure uh, the graphs are correct and all that. But yeah, I uh, no, it's not Maggie. <laughs> I ain't going to work on Maggie's farm. No. <laughs> so uh, um, I don't know. You know, you guys watch the news, right? Bobby, yeah, do you? Uh huh. You watch news, Bob? Sure. So, uh, you know, this is something that I found very interesting. In, um, some people have told me to stay away from the news tone because you get too amped up. Um, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you about a story, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the story, and I don't have it in front of me because I don't have my laptop set up or anything like that. But are you guys familiar Is with that the a guy? man named Jed? Yeah, he's a poor mountain Amir mountain. See, I can't even talk about it tonight. <laughs> I'm leaving right up off. I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving I'm sorry, off right up where I was three months ago. All right, ready? This guy, I think, was out in Montana or Wyoming. He uh, he he sees a, a wolf out on a, like a snowpack, and he runs the wolf down with his snowmobile, injures the wolf. Then he gets on the wolf and he tapes duct tapes the mouse the wolf's mouth closed, and then he brings it back to a bar, and they torture it there, and you know, I know. and they're, and the guys they, they they videotaped it and all that, and and a whole bunch of people were there, and nobody said boo to this guy. Uh, 
you know, and, and then here at Fish and Wildlife or Fish and Game Commission, they said they could only find them like 250 bucks. And, and online, people have this, uh, uh, this petition going. And I know, I think, I believe it was over 60,000 the last time I looked to have him wow. try to get them federally wow. prosecuted. But when I saw that, you know, I, I'm a wildlife guy, you know, and yeah, the, the comments on that were just, uh, it was very hard to refrain from commenting how I truly felt about that story. Like, you know, yeah, personally, there's hard. part of me that just want to throw him in a room with a real wolf, you know what I mean, and, and see what happens. I mean, he's a human being, but he's, you, you know, their story, what I'm trying to get at with this, what, I, what I'm about to say here is the effect that news has on us. And um, it's not always positive. And then when you see it on social media, uh, you want to reply and respond. And that's my question to you guys. Do you often feel the need to reply or respond to something that you might see online? And then if you do, do you actually think it's going to matter? Or do you feel better when you do vent that way? Bob? No, I don't. I don't bother with it now. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, no, feel one way or the other, that's my opinion, but I don't reply to it. Yeah. Think? Sometimes I do. Mm -hmm. And there are times I type down like three or four sentences. I say, you know what? Don't even, don't even, you know. Yeah. Just, just and then just delete it, whatever. So I, I it often, does get you. It, it, it like, and I think this happens a lot with a lot of people out there. We see this, and then we see that, look, for the first time in in uh, in history of man, we actually have the power uh, of social media as a platform, as a soapbox, if you will, to reply to people who seem out of line. And and I'm wondering what the negatives and the positives of that can be. I know for me personally, it, it doesn't solve the anger that I might be feeling about a certain situation. I mean, initially it does, but then I find myself, I'm, and you guys will already know this, I'm the king of deleting. You know, I'll go back and I'll delete what I said. I'll, I'll go back and even delete a regular post that I put up, uh, you know, on our Facebook page or something like that. But I think a lot of people these days uh, feel empowered, if you will, that their voice and their words um, will travel great distances and matter. Uh, Again, any any more comments on that for you from you guys? A lot of people will feel emboldened to put stuff in print that they wouldn't say to your face. Think you know? Yeah, with me, with me, it's like I agree with Bob, but um, <clears throat> I am told by people that I come off too in your face uh, sometimes. So I try like. I try to think about that when I'm answering things or, or putting my comments in, you know, and I'm like, well, you know, cause I know I, I can come off wrong in real life. I can just imagine how it comes across when I, you know, put it in print. Well, <laughs> Bink, you, you and I are a lot alike in that uh, regard. We're very passionate people. And, and especially if you, if it's something you feel strongly about, you're not afraid to step, step up and say your mind, if you feel as if you're in the right or if you're defending what you believe or a just cause, I'm the same way. And where I'm going with this is I think a lot of people have, have been, to use Bob's word, emboldened uh, to or in, feeling empowered that now from the obscurity of sitting behind a keyboard, they can actually make a, a, a difference in the world with their opinion. And, and my, my statement kind of is, and my question why I'm picking you guys' brains about this is, is it really mattering at all? Or is it just uh, amping ourselves up, causing anxiety and anger, and we leave uh, social media or news all pissed off even more so? Uh, or do you get satisfaction from it? Just a curious observation that I've seen. I just was wondering how you guys felt about that. You think it matters, think, Bob, when you comment? No. Yeah, I don't, That's I don't either. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it unless does. You, unless you got a petition up like you per people did. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think somebody should have because I and I'm glad I didn't see that because uh, uh, yeah, I can't stand torturing, uh, seeing people torture animals. I mean, it's I, you know it's, I'm yeah. looking at this guy and I'm thinking to myself, dude, he's he's got the he's got the the dog around the neck and you know, and there's this picture, beautiful creature this dog is, this wolf, and he's got a you know mm -hmm. he's got a, a beer in the other hand, you know, and he, you know, and I'm just like. Pfft. Can only imagine. And again, I don't know him. I don't know mm -hmm. the the premises. Why Did he you would say cannoli? Yeah, he had a. Can still talking about cannolis. He said cannoli, imagine. 
<laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> now I want a cannoli, okay. Hank. Come on, man. You know, I used to, hey, I used to drive into the city of Philadelphia and get cannolis. No more. You know, so I don't, don't wear Germany's. Uh, I would go there sometimes. Um, you know, that there, there's a couple locations I would hit, you know, uh, one at Reading Terminal Market. Uh, yeah, and then yeah. their other location, I'd hit that. And there's a couple other ones out down there that I'll hit. But uh, uh, real yeah, fast, can yeah. you get a good cannoli at, at Boost Corner? What do you got? I, I never tried to get a cannoli at Boost Corner. Uh, Boost Corner, know, folks, if you don't know that, that is also known as the <laughs> Bethel Mall out there in uh, Booth Wynn. What's that? Is that you, Bob, talking? Uh, Normie was saying good night. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right. Um, all right. So uh, I was just wondering, because I think a lot of people uh, feel as if they're, they're or, or I think a lot of people are spewing hatred and uh, negativity on social media. It's nothing new. Uh, and while I mentioned that, there was a, an incident recently locally. I'm not, I'm not even going to get into the details about it, but someone put a story up about, about how she saw an incident occur to her and the gentleman um, whose house, whose property it had happened on, showed the video, and it was not. It was nothing like what she said, and it's just about a different perspective and twisting things. And and sometimes with other stories, I've seen people do that to kind of get like a little bit of like accolades, you know, or maybe a little bit of attention, or to go viral or such. So it's it's social yeah. media is just nuts. You know what I'm getting to is that I just felt so much anger about that story, but. Uh, Anyway, oh, yeah. um, that, that would have really stopped me going. Yeah, you and it would have ruined my day. Well, you know, I spa- thought about that, and I was going to send it. Day. I was going to send it to you guys, and I'm telling you, I can't get the image out of my head. You know, yeah, so I, I wouldn't want to see stuff like that. No, nope. no. Nope. Uh, uh, real I quick, I can't stand that. Here's a, a curious question: Have any of you guys seen helicopters, military helicopters, in the sky recently? No. Really? No. Okay. I have since, you know, we're not too far from the river um, and up and down, you know, you sometimes you get a little uh, helo traffic there, especially tomorrow. Um, uh, the president is coming to Philadelphia. He was up in Scranton today, but last week there was yeah, an announcement. I, yeah, I heard he drove five people. <laughs> I'm going to allow that comment. Yeah, I think there was more than that, maybe seven. No, I don't know. Yeah. You know, here's the thing, man. <laughs> I got all choked. Up. <laughs> Is that a sign from God to show up? Choked up. <laughs> I got. I'm all choked up now. Uh, uh, I don't know, Bobby. Did we talk politics tonight? Uh, yeah. No. Should we? Uh, that's up to you guys. How do you feel, Bob? Should we? I'm gonna. This is Bob's show tonight. Bob's show. <laughs> Stop to Bob. This is Bob's welcome back. Welcome back, Cotter Bob Show. Welcome back. The dreams were you took Welcome, Welcome back. back. Listen. To the same old day that you dreamed about. You know. Well, the names have all changed. And they turned around. I brought this up. But the dreams have remained. You guys can do the background music for me. I brought it up because uh, they need you. Turkey, where we need you. Finding subjects does not (laughs) approve of this commercial (laughs) music. Oh my God. Welcome back. Listen, they're just fans of the show. Mr. Woodman. Mr. Whitman. Mr. Woodman. Anyway, anyway, there's something something happened with uh, with our bank. Um, I'm not even going to. I'm not going to say any of the information, but Bink, ladies and gentlemen, went viral. Bink, Bink oh, went yeah. so viral, right, that you have all everybody out there who's watched any of the news recently, and I'm talking every major news network globally. If you have yeah. watched the news in the past four days. There's yeah. a good chance that every single person on the face of this earth who watched the news actually saw Bink. Am I right, Bink? Yeah, yep. most likely. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I and saw. It, it's just amazing. So people are like, "You got to tell yeah, me more. Crazy. You got to tell me more." I'm telling you, our Bink here, 
at Finding Subjects Podcast, if he had happened to have a Finding Subject, a little bumper sticker or something like that, and just stuck it out at the right time, I think our listenership would go from like uh, 84. Do rag. It would, yeah, it would have went from 84 uh, you... to maybe like a couple million overnight. Yeah. That is the yeah, coverage yeah. that Bink had. I've been on television before uh, multiple times, but never to the exposure that Bink got in the past four days. Uh, it, was on, it was on Fox, CNN, and I MSNBC, that. I every, every news. single news network. <laughs> it was on absolutely every single news network. Yo, the BBC, um, you, you name it, all across Europe. Dude, I, I could not believe it. You know, and uh, I know. You should yeah. uh, and next time. If that potential happens, you we're going to get a finding subjects bumper sticker or something like that, uh, something for yeah, you to well, hold up. Yeah. But you know, I'm telling you, three seconds of exposure, and we'd be in the millions there now instead of like it's I crazy. said, eighty four, eighty five listeners, whatever. Even a, well, a hat because you couldn't read the hat I was wearing. So correct. Even even if <sighs> even if you zoomed in, you wouldn't be able to read it. Yeah. So I'm so proud of you, man. Just saying that, like you know, it wasn't it wasn't the camera wasn't on me. I was just in the back. Yeah, you were there. I know, but it was like it was beautiful. I'm like, there he is. He's one of us I right there. It. He represents our, it, our family yeah. here of finding subject. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So and t- yeah. it turns out I had more fa- I had I had cousins there that I didn't know about. Get out of here. There. Wow. Yeah, and they and they got interviewed by uh and they, 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 that went nationwide too. Mm. Like, uh, the morning call maybe. Okay. Maybe? Okay. And maybe the morning call. One yeah. of my uh, female cousins was there. Young How girl. about that? Yeah. Very proud to see her there. I yep. didn't know she was there. But uh, yeah, Bink. and a friend I grew up with was there too. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but Bink was right there, ground right, right there, man. So, uh, yeah. well, how's that feel, Bink? To to know that probably a hundred million people at least saw Bink. You feel good uh, about that? I, I, well, I was more. Um, I was more uh, inspired. Yeah, I was more excited with the company mm-hmm. that was 25 feet from me. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's the thing I couldn't believe. Yeah. When I realized that was going to be right that like, person. Uh, I know. If I can say it. No. We're, we're being very obscure. Okay. We're going to we keep these people guessing. Okay. If, if that person was – once I realized that person, you are now going to be within 25 feet of that person. Yeah. All by shit luck. Yeah. <laughs> A little, yeah. a little bit of uh, just a sit. little bit of uh, shit luck, man. Just let's well, just imagine all things went. Four yep. things went my way, bang. But then again, it was because I was trying too. So, mm-hmm. you know, I was my curiosity yeah. and my uh, gift for gab. There you go. Uh, with these two ladies is what got us in there. Uh-huh. And well, and then everything just broke the right way after that. I'll tell you right yeah. now, I guarantee you, Swifties across the world are so jealous. <laughs> exactly. Right? <laughs> and, and, and guess who's looking for a new girlfriend? Number 87. Sir, seriously? Number 87 is now looking for a new girlfriend ever it, since Saturday. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, hey, what if, put it this that's way, because the you got Swifties, big there. The Swifties will know my face soon. There you go, they Swifties. They, yeah. they know it already. They do yeah, know. and and instead of uh, those the hat that she was wearing, the green hat, it's going to be Finding Subjects podcast hat. And, there you and go. there are none. <laughs> so somebody's got to chip yep. in and help us get some swag, whatever they call it. Hey, uh, quick question for so swag. the helicopter thing. Why I ask you guys about this helicopter thing? Where um, I read a story from from a, a week ago, August. Yes, yeah, excuse me, April fifth and seventh, somewhere around that, and the ninth. Uh, over seventy hel- over seventy military hos- uh, helicopters were flying from Rome, New York, up there with the uh, what is it, Tenth Mountain Division of the Army, to Lehigh Valley Airport, and then from Lehigh Valley Airport to the Philadelphia Port area. Whoa. Seventy seventy helicopters. That's a lot of helicopters, man. So, was just curious if anybody saw any of that air traffic because if I saw, you know, ten, twelve, or six. Flying together. Uh, the only time I've seen that is at like by Camp Pendleton or down by, uh, you know, uh, one of the camps down there in Virginia, North Carolina. So I don't know. Not, I have brag, something like that. But I just was, well, I thought maybe since you guys are out and about, you might have saw something. But anyway, moving on. 
the eclipse. Did you guys check out the eclipse? No. You didn't look at all, Bob? I was in the hospital, I believe. Oh, yes, you were. Okay. Bink? Um, Did you I look saw... up? Did you burn your retina? No, because I heard earlier in the day, if there's mild cloud cover, you can stare at it when it's almost in its totality of what we were going to see. Hmm. So I did kind of – I'd look up real fast and, and, and you know, and just do it little like – yeah. exploratory looks and then wow and I was like, oh, okay and then yeah. clouds would go in front of it and you couldn't see it right and so i didn't want to take chances and keep staring yeah. in case you got you know yeah like sizzle. But i saw a little bit yeah yeah okay um how do you feel about the possibility that that was an alien spaceship slowly going in front of the sun did you hear that one Hell, Bob. <laughs> i think that's a lot of bullshit but do you remember a song called total eclipse of the sun Total eclipse of the heart. Of the heart. Of the heart. Who was that? She oh, was that one? It was a blonde girl, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But was that Bonnie was a song. That was Bonnie Tyler, I think. Really? Hmm. But then there was a song by Carly Simon where she says, "Then I heard you drove your Learjet up to the, Nova Scotia to see the total to eclipse, see the of, the total sun. eclipse of the sun." You're so vain. And huh? you're where you should be all the time. And when you're not, you're not. You're with someone the world spy or the wife of a close. Wow. Now listen. Yep. Gotta, all right. So Bob brings up that song. <clears throat> yes. Uh, yes. In the main version, the, the most popular version of that song, what are the first words of that song? The first words you hear. James you're so Taylor. vain. James Taylor. <laughs> you're no. so vain. You're so vain. What are the, First word you hear in that song. Hmm. Isn't that it? I met. I met. We met. You know, what most people would say, you walked in. Oh, the yeah. Park, right? Yeah. But that's not the first. Those are not the first word you hear. Okay. And you're both going to have to go to Spotify and check this out. I don't know. Wherever. Okay. Um, answer. And if you get the right version, you will hear. Son of a gun? <laughs> She son, of a, son of a gun first. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah, check that out. And I always thought a really interesting, uh, what a, I guess, tidbit or statistic or whatever, but uh, about that song is who's singing backups? Yeah, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger, right on. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Well, let's check that was, out. Son of a gun. There was a song. There was the song about James Taylor. No? No. No, I heard it was about somebody else. Go ahead, Bob. Warren Beatty, they claim. Really? That's right. Ah. I, mean, I don't know I why. People say James Taylor, but yeah, yeah. I don't, you never heard that, James Taylor? Think? No. No, I have. Oh, I yeah. Have. Okay. Yeah, that's who I heard. But wow, that's interesting. Warren Beatty. Huh. All right. Now I got to listen to that. Son of a gun. Which segues right to, you ever get, hear these old time sayings that once in a blue moon, you'll hear people, here you go, there you go, once in a blue moon. Or like those types of mm -hmm. things, or like son of a gun, or like okie dokie, or so long, or tidbit. You, yeah. you you hear them, and you don't hear them that often any longer. Now you're hearing finna, <laughs> and oh, yeah, I don't things ridiculous. that I don't even understand. But uh, yeah, what are what are some of those old little sayings, old time sayings, if you will, that you might stick in your head, or you find yourself saying, everyone. Every once in a while. I mean, one that it doesn't go back that far, but I'm always saying, hey, dude, or yo, dude, you know, which, dude, I'm thinking early 60s, mid 60s. Bob, can you help me on that one? Dude, or I dude. think dude came around in the 70s, early 70s. Early 70s. Okay. But I mean, dude, it was probably, dude, yeah. was it not said back in the, in the Wild West days? Like, you know, he's a, he's a, but uh, did they not call them dudes like dude ranches or yeah, is that where that came actually, from? You know what? You're right though. Okay. You're but, right, uh, but it probably fell out of uh, flavor. Of, uh, popularity fell out of flavor. There you go. Another one. And in the twenties, probably. Mm -hmm. And then like, I, I believe it did. Uh, to, up until the fifties and sixties, maybe. Hmm. Like the well, origin. I can't see Fonzie saying, Hey dude. It's right. <laughs> I don't remember what the heck I was just recently watching. Oh, okay. Yo, Shogun. 
You guys watch it at all? The new one? No. 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 Uh, I, 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 listen, I think you should watch it. You know, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's going to, it's, it's really done a, a good job on, they've really done a good job. It's the same people who did, uh, the new, the, the, what is it called? Westworld? Like the newer version of that? Oh, was it on HBO? I, I forget what they called it. Um, wasn't, uh, wasn't it wasn't it Richard Chamberlain that did that yes, one? Yes, the original the one. Mini series is based on it. Wasn't yeah. that a mini series or was that a TV show? Mm, yeah, mini series. Mini series. Yeah. Okay. So because there, I remember the other big one at that time was uh, Rich Man Poor Man. Oh, yes. Remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a great one. Yeah. And the and Captains and the Kings. Captains you remember that Kings. one? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I yeah, don't I do. I remember that. Um, but it but seems like sure. there was always a mini series coming, mm -hmm. like every fall. And every spring, yeah. there was like a five night mini series that you had yeah. to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this uh, if you had the opportunity Even up until the nineties, up until the nineties, I still remember there was one called. Uh, it was very good, I thought. Uh, it's called Storm of the Century. Hmm. Huh. Um, it, it had the guy from Wings, the, the Joe. Yeah. I think remember the show Wings. Yeah, I used to like that show. Yeah. Oh, it was a good show. Yeah, I had two two good. The two brothers were yep. great. Yep. Yeah. That was yeah. a great cast. I, I think so. But anyway, it had it had the brother Joe was the main star. It was a really good. It was about a storm that hits this town up in Nova Scotia. Ah, no kidding. Like a little, like a little island town, mm -hmm. and they lost power. Big time storm. That, you know, nobody could get there for a few days, and then I'll just leave it at that. Okay. It was really cool. Cool. But yeah, if you guys get the opportunity, uh, the new uh, version of Shogun is on FX, and uh, I, I would check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, and there's a the, uh, FX, uh, huh? the so uh, I would I would highly recommend it not just for not for her you know I'm just saying for the whole if you've seen the first uh, Shogun but the whole premise is premise of it the different warlords uh, vying for power back in a transitional time for uh, you know for the if you want to call it the royal family there in Japan it's pretty interesting a little bit of a power struggle uh, I, I think the Japan Japanese culture is really it's fascinating, man, and uh, it's just know? to see you see the total savagery side, and and from the outside looking in, you would be like these people are lost, like they're gone in their heads. Simultaneously, it's the it's the reverency of not even walking on moss, you know, out of respect to the earth, to the earth, and like that part of the culture is it's all about tradition. It's fa it's fascinating when you look at it that way, but you go against them, absolutely ruthless. And what you kind of saw that way in The Last Samurai with uh, uh, Tom Cruise, which is, is another movie I'll watch that often if he comes in. I know, Bink, Bink, you're not a Tom Cruise fan, but that's a good, actually, a very good movie. Yeah, I'm not a Cruisey. I'm not a Cruisey. And, and so certain things that were happening in Rich in, in uh, Shogun, so I'm, ga I'm guessing it was based a bit off of, uh, obviously, historical facts. But you see some of that also in uh, The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise. So both of them kind of, like, there's some similarities in both that you can draw to. Uh, yeah, no, it was pretty good. Um, hopping on to the, uh, let me see. Well, I don't really have any much more. I was going to talk about some Delco stuff, but we're at 47 minutes. You guys want to wrap this one or, and then start another one? Or, well, <coughs> or, you, or should we just take? Whatever you want to do there, Joe. We, we yeah. can, whatever you guys, Bob, how, how are you feeling, buddy? You want to stick around for a little bit more? Keep, keep on going. Okay. So, I'll go to it. I'll go to it. I'll go to later a little after. Okay, so let's uh, let's just wrap this one up. Don't hang up, but uh, let's just That's wrap right. this up for Finding Subjects Podcast. It's great to have Bob back. We want to thank you all for your prayers and your thoughts. And, um, you know, please yeah, continue. Thank them. you. Yeah, please can continue them coming. You know, uh, for all of us, we all need uh, all need prayers, and we all need people thinking about and, us and wishing us goodwill. Yeah. Go ahead, ben. And and please pray for the winning lottery numbers to come out on Bink's next ticket. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. What did you play? A big one, Bink? No, I don't play. I never play. But if I know people are praying for it, I might get a buy a ticket. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Uh, direct your prayers to Bink. There you go. All right, buddy. Well, here's uh, real yeah. fast. I'll, I'll, I'll continue that in the next. Okay. Video. All right. For finding subjects, I'm Tony. I'm Bobby. All right, you guys, uh, thank you all for listening wherever you are. Thank you uh, so much for being very patient, and I'm glad we can get this off the ground today. Uh, all right, we'll uh, talk to you. Uh, well, this is going to be the first. This one will go up this week, and then we'll put we'll record another one for next week. All right, see you. Take care.